Hey guys, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because I have someone getting groceries for me now and they're probably gonna text me. Um, but I, what I wanted to talk about is what I've been talking about in my stories the past couple of days and this is what I've been calling the impending apocalypse because we've been already dealing with it since 2020, since all of 2020. And the hits that I've been getting intuitively and pretty much every intuitive friend that I have has been getting the same information that there's more to come and things are changing and we don't know what it is yet but it's big and I've been pulling cards like for the past week after week and every week it's a new like hanged man the tower like huge cards of change and transition is what I have been pulling and just everyone just the vibe in the air is something big is still coming and changes are coming and um, we need to get prepared. This doesn't necessarily mean that tomorrow um, our worlds are going to change, but that we have some time to make changes in our lives that we need to make. And so I invite you guys to kind of feel into this and feel into the changes that you need to make in your life um, and what changes are happening around you. Like, I don't know what those changes are going to be, but I do know that they're coming and I pulled more cards this morning that indicate and further validate that and further validate that there's big changes coming and those changes are going to be uncomfortable. They are going to not be necessarily good feeling and they're not going to be like they're going to bring good change, but they're probably not going to feel very good. Hey, um, so I wanted to share with you those cards that I pulled and just further, like if you guys have been feeling that something is coming to listen to that and to get yourself prepared in the way that you feel called to be prepared for me and my family, that's been food storage and preparing our basement to get a chest freezer and get shelving down there and, um, get stuff for like immune support and, cleaning and essential oils and stuff that we need to kind of keep ourselves stocked and feel good in whatever is coming and that might be different for you like maybe you're feeling more of the financial upset aspect of it the tech thing aspect of it we're all going to be called to different things to do so I just want you to honor what you're feeling and take those steps so that you are feeling more prepared and um ready for the shift that is coming because I know that in March when all of this first started happening I was like deep in postpartum and we were so not prepared like not prepared at all hey guys for any of this <laughs> for um the food thing we I basically had the thought in my mind anything I need I can just order it and it'll be here in two days and that quickly changed and so we were where we live um, dealing with food shortages everywhere. We couldn't get anything delivered. All grocery delivery services became unavailable for about eight weeks. Um, as you guys know, Amazon was like taking a month to get stuff to you. So it was a really stressful and challenging time. So now we're being asked, okay, we have some advance notice here intuitively and to not be crazy about it, but to start taking the steps that we need to take to prepare for whatever the shift is that coming is coming. So I wanted to share with you the cards that I pulled. The first one is New Moon Eclipse, Expect Powerful Change. This one tells us that a big change is coming. Multiple big changes are coming. And they're probably not going to feel great. They're probably going to feel uncomfortable. They're probably going to feel scary. And I talked about this in my Facebook Live the other week. Like the rug is being pulled out from underneath us. That's what this is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know that information and nobody intuitive that I talk to, I don't think we're allowed to know that information, honestly, because what, if we knew ahead of time for this, we wouldn't experience the shift and change and lessons that we need to experience in order to like have that profound shift in our lives. So if we could prepare for some of the big cataclysmic changes and events that happen in our lives they wouldn't have the same effect because we'd be like pre-prepared for it and it wouldn't have like the profound shift that it needed to have so nobody that I've talked to in my intuitive circle has any specific date on this um Susan Miller did an astrology report that said that there was going to be the same astrological combination in September through 
November that happened in March through May. So my rough estimate is September through November, and I've talked to other people who think October-ish. So September, no, October, November-ish. So for me, I feel like I have about two months to, to get all this stuff going and get all this stuff in order. That's for me. So you guys take some time to reflect and meditate on what feels right for you and what you need to be doing to get prepared. Because now we're in this new moon eclipse period, which is this dark new change, changes are coming period. And the other card I pulled is two of inspiration, which basically shows a girl in a totally blank ocean-like environment, like looking out to the horizon. So that's the phase that we're in right now. New moon eclipse, huge big changes. And heading out in a new direction, like in an open sea. That's where we are right now. Um, so we're, it's basically facing the unknown, not knowing what the unknown is. I don't have any more information than that, except that this is what I very strongly feel. And this is what has been reflected back to me within the like spiritual community is that they're also feeling this and um, to pay attention to that. And so what, what are some things you can do? Like, what are some changes that you can make? Well, for me, like, I'm getting stocked up on the essential oils that I need. I'm using oils daily. Like, right now I have in there here, the Blend Awaken. And I've just been kind of rolling it across my forehead because the Blend Awaken helps us... Um, with self-adjustment during these periods of intense shifts and shifts and changes. So when we're going through these powerful changes, the blend awaken helps us to better and more easily emotionally navigate and see the changes that we need to make in our own lives. So I have it in this roller necklace that I'm applying it like basically multiple times a day across my forehead to help me have clarity and insight in making these changes. And um, the same thing with there's a blend in vision, which is free this month with your 100 PV essential rewards order. So if you get your starter kit this month, which if now is your time, it's a great time because you'll have some tools for you come the fall. It has thieves, it has digest, it has emotional support oils, it has immune support oils, it has digestive support oils. It has like all types of oils to support you through this next shift. So if you get your starter kit this month and sign up for essential rewards at the same time, you'll get envision free, which is... Um, yeah, Nancy, Young Living was selling these about two weeks ago, and we're trying to figure out who the supplier is so that we can um, get more. <laughs> um, it was like about $40. It was in a bundle with the One Heart Essential Oil, um, but Etsy has a ton, and I'll share a seller that has other like essential oil necklaces. Um, that you guys can look at and get like other sellers. But I have Awaken in mind um, to help me with this period of self-adjustment and to see clearly and to make grounded decisions. Um, but Envision is free with your starter kit this month if you sign up for Central Rewards at the same time. It's free with your 100 PV order. It's another good third eye planning and getting clear and getting clear direction type of oil. Yeah, Vanessa, um, something coming in the fall. Literally every single person that I've talked to um, like in, intuitive worker in some way, light worker in some way, has said fall. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. And this isn't just like second wave virus stuff. I feel it's bigger than that and more than that. Um, and my, me personally, I have, our family has been motivated to get our basement situation like handled and cleared out and we're putting shelving in and getting a chest freezer and starting to like get supplies and stock up on supplies. I'm getting messages from my ship shopper so I'd have to go in a second. Um, Cause she's asking me about <laughs> replacements and I'm here, here talking to you about cards and oils. <laughs> um, so I probably have to hop off here, but this message is just to tell you that big, powerful change is coming. That's going to feel uncomfortable and weird and probably a rug pulled out from underneath all of us in different ways. Um, and that we're in like this open ocean heading in a new direction right now. And so like I'm getting myself prepared. I'm stocking up on oils. If now's your time for essential oils, the premium starter kit awaits you <laughs> and it's going to be a good thing to have when these shifts come because it will help you emotionally physically spiritually energetically um all of that i have a unboxing that i'll share in my stories if you want to go look and see what comes in there um and yeah that's it i also have a young living business mentorship so if you wanted to start your young living business and you don't yet have your oils um that's starting at the end of july um which we'd be a great time for you um but if you're already on my team and you wanted to do that business mentorship fill out the form and i have like a wait list going and we'll just fill spaces for this one or for the next one um 
because there's going to be another one in September. But that's all. If you've been feeling that, here's your validation. If you haven't, go reflect on what you need to do. Bye.